We were heading to the Green Man Festival in Wales, and for this journey, Quincy, an opera fan at heart, would not be joining us. Instead, he would be staying with a friend for the week, a prospect he seemed more than happy with. Unfortunately, prior to leaving, the weather had taken a turn for the worse. This journey would mark our first excursion in our new car, a second-hand VW as old as our former car with a litany of faults, quirks and malfunctions. What a piece of junk! Despite the warning lights, leaks and technical flaws, it's a fun drive and it has a roof that sometimes lowers successfully as well. It's not a photograph. It's not a photograph. <laughs> Finding a plot not too near the toilets but also not too far away is always a challenge. Bridget chose a spot on the outer edge of the site and set about constructing our new tent. Uh, big enough for two people? Might just about squeeze in here. Okay. okay. Although it's often said that the camera never lies, it's true to say that Bridget didn't do most of the trolley work. Freshly made. I like your nails. I like your nails. Oh, ma'am. So, what would you give it out of ten? Oh. It depends. I want something that have got ten be. So, would it be easy to score the onion bhaji out of five? Tell me something else that scores five. Like, are we talking? I don't know. That restaurant in Barcelona. Is that a five? Well, that's a hundred. Well, this is what I mean. You have to give me some context here. So it rolls out of five. What is five? Five. Five is five. What? So the barges would go four. Sausage rolls. Five. Five. See anything uh, revelatory out there, or? Busy bar. Busy bar. So, egg and bacon sandwich. Okay, is this going to be like a step by step the entire week? What? Yes, Everything we eat? Egg and bacon sandwich was really good. The main site wouldn't be open until Thursday. A walk into the nearby village of Crickhall was in order, but not before breakfast and an opportunity for Bridget to use some of the new camping equipment she'd acquired. And made toast. You proud of that?
It was during the walk back that disaster struck. My foot had swollen dramatically, and I was reminded of this. It would be fairly safe to say that Bridget was slightly less sympathetic than Emily Blunt. <laughs> Eventually, I was pulled free from my boot and we set about watching the silent disco with a glass of crappy wine. No, not now. Four. Four on, on the four out of five scale. Okay. We're committing. Well done. Wednesday seemed to be the right day to try out the showers, and surprisingly, they were pretty good. This would be our last chance to relax before the festival started proper. We made for the River Usk and sat in the sun, a far cry from Sunday's torrential rains. I've had to throw away my boots because although I am a size 9, you can see the boots come in different sizes of size 9. Yes. So the boots unfortunately are gone. Um, sad times. The big day had finally arrived. In the early afternoon, the main site was opened and we were free to explore. We think this is our eighth or possibly even ninth visit to the festival, but surprisingly, we're still yet to make it to the burning of the green man on the final night. We get quite tired. Just seen wet leg line. How would you review them in a word? a sound. It was a more than promising start, but it seemed that it wasn't long before we'd stumbled from the sublime to the entertainingly ridiculous. So, Yard Act. In a word. In a sound. Why? Truth be known, I was beginning to think that Bridget had a future in music journalism.
working men's club in a word. Ah. Was that a word? Yeah, it is now. Okay, and a noise? I was actually hoping for a rich commentary on the beer and music tasting talk we were currently attending, but instead it was clear that Bridget was distracted by the support Dachshund who had just arrived at the venue. Oh, the dash out. Yeah. We were both of course missing Quincy. He of course was having a fine old time and probably not missing us at all. As the weekend unfolded, it was becoming clear that there had been one song to rule them all, and it had come from one of the festival's opening acts. John, in a word. Angry. And a noise. And then, predictably, the rain came. Coffee whiskey out of five? Oh, five. Five. Five points. Five festival fingers. Okay, great. Uh, goat girl. Uh, in a sound? Nah. So, we just saw a band, we don't know who they are. Thoughts? Okay, you've gone for one word this time. I've, I've freed you up. You don't have to. You're one of my best. Really amazing. Okay, that's.
was great. Uh, in a sound. One of my favorite toys along for the ride. Richard Dawson. The test train away, scouring eBay. Or looking on Suplar at houses where I'll never live. In a word, folky. I know I must be paranoid. You might have gone for that as well. Yeah. In a noise. When the sun is climbing, we'll find the harrow smothered with slime. When the sun is climbing, we'll put it in the dark's noses. When the sun is climbing, we'll break upon the heath. spent some time exploring the art installations before heading to the main stage to watch Mogwai. We were dimly aware that the odds of the band holding the focus of a Saturday night festival crowd were slim at best. Mogwai in a word. Uh, distracted. Okay. Uh, in a noise. The final festival day had arrived. We were running on empty, but there were still so many bands to see. Mr. Lorry Driver, drop me off. I've heard your gears grinding for long enough. You can stuff your call signs in your citizens' band, your greasy sex in the back of the cab. You can keep your oily mind and diesel knuckles on your Confederate belt buckle. Indicate and pull over right here on the hard shoulder. Urban myth number 91, central reservation man, tramping Britain's middle lane between the triple carriageways, tightrope walking the white line. Game changer. Think about who you were then.
Call it fate, call it luck, call it karma. Somehow, Bridget was talked into going onto the big wheel. Any comments so far? Yeah, we're well, halfway up on the world's most rickety Ferris wheel. Oh, it's moving again. Five being excellent, one being not so good. I'm maybe going to go for a two. A two? Well, that was quite, the best. Quite rickety. That was the best time ever. We only had one band left to see, and we were not left disappointed. Exhausted, we loaded up the car, crossed our fingers and hoped that the battery hadn't died over the last week. Three, two, one. Oh, it struggled, but it's away. Before long, we were back in Bath and reunited with Quincy. Quincy! Quincy! Come on, come on, come on, come on! He's not bothered. <laughs>